It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where all eyes and ears of the world are anxiously waiting because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't have to be at work during the day. Hey, you think these billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Folks, everybody needs to stay back behind the barricade. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. If it isn't the B team, any of you boys work on this. <laughs> All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Uh, Mr. Benson. You're representing all bees of the world? <clears throat> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. And Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother, was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we were to live in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just, just, just think of what it would mean. Maybe I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee. Yeah. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Oh. Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And what I'm hoping is that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Gamble. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your uh, relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good what, what? do you live together? Wait a, wait a minute. This isn't Are about... Are you her little <clears throat> bed bug? Hey, that's not the kind I've of... seen a bee documentary or two. Now, from what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children in the hives? Yeah, but... So those aren't even your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You are an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. And don't y'all nature your cousins? Objection. I'm gonna pincushion this guy. <gasps> Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm here! Oh, Lordy, I'm here! Order! Order! The venom! The venom is causing to my Please, veins! Mr. Montgomery! I have been failed by a winged beast of destruction! You see? You can't treat them like equals! They're striped savages! Stinging's the only thing they know! It's their way! Adam, stay with me. I, I can't feel my legs. Oh, an angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my healing buckets. Please, I will have order Help in my me. court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a point.
to turn Thank against you. the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Now here's Don with a five day. <sighs> hey, buddy. Hey. Is it much pain? Yeah. I, uh... I blew the whole case, didn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. The important thing is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria. They got it from downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all... all adrenaline and then... and then ecstasy. Hmm, all right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What do you think the humans will do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. <laughs> Say, could you uh, get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. <laughs> right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. Adam, that's it! That's our case! It is? It's not over? No, get up, get dressed. I've gotta go somewhere. You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can.